Five Feet of Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And folks, guess what? Soup's on! <laughs> yay, yay! And I've got uh, the shirt to match the yes, suit. Yes, you do. You don't, but nope. that's okay. <laughs> so anyway, I'll share I'll march to my own beat. Well, we know that. <laughs> okay, so folks, let us tell you what we're going to oh, make, shall so we? So good. We are going to do our Roasted, roasted Butternut, butternut squash, squash Soup. Soup. <sighs> soup. Soup. <laughs> Soup's on. And folks, this is so good. This is amazing because yes. this is one of the, I, I, this, I think this is one of our favorite soups. I love it. It's so delicious. It's so good. There's no cream involved. It's just, and what really I think makes this so deep in flavor is the fact that we're roasting yes. this. Yes. So, what so we, no cream means that it's not as fattening as <laughs> well, a cream-based soup. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, you know, good for the, when you're trying to lose yes, a little weight. Exactly. And it's just so heartwarming I and so delicious. It. And you can so, eat buckets of it. <laughs> yeah. Because I do. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. He, I've seen him actually have a bucket. Yes. So well, let me tell you how we did this. So what we've got is we've actually got two baking sheets here. and We've got um, dueling baking sheets. Dueling baking sheets. And so we've got our butternut squash. So butternut squash, if you've ever peeled it and cut it and chopped it yourself, it's of the it's, vegetables, it's one of the <laughs> little more challenging yeah. ones. You work up, you, you do, you, you know, because you work up a sweat. Yes, you do. So <laughs> fortunately, nowadays in most supermarkets, you can find them already peeled and already chopped, and and that's what and we've got. Fabulous. Here. Yes. So we need um, anywhere from three to four pounds. I think this of, is about three and a half. This is about three and a half. Yeah. I mean, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to fill two uh, baking sheets with this. Now, yes. if you can't, if you, I mean, go ahead and just, you know, you need a big knife and sharp knife, and be careful when you're cutting it because. It can, it can kind of, it's a little stiff before it's cooked. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we've got about three, I, here we've oh. got about three and a half pound, high flow. And a 60 and a, pound dog. A 60 pound dog <laughs> that's walking through. And then we've got uh, we, two onions, one here and one here, that we've, it's just a rough chop. We cut it in half and then cut that like into thirds. So we've yeah. got like about six, six pieces, pieces of, of onion and you peel the skin off. Yep. And then what we did was we got some salt mm -hmm. and we liberally salted it and we got some freshly ground pepper, we sprinkled mm -hmm. that on and then got some olive oil, squirted that all over. I'd say that's about one to two tablespoons per baking sheet, probably a tablespoon per baking sheet. And then you just toss it up yep. with your hands. And because you know um, what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna roast it, because oh. it's roasted. <laughs> roasted butter that's what to do. What a great idea. <laughs> So we've got our oven piping hot at 425, 425. degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. and we're going to stick this in, and it's going. Um, the smell is ridiculous, um, and it's going to go for 40 minutes. Somewhere along the way, you may want to look. These they'll start to char a little bit, which is what you want. You know, you can uh, take your uh, wooden spoon and stir it around a little bit around halfway. Do you have to? I would recommend. Oh, okay. Because right. you don't want it to burn too much on the bottom. You know, then you've got burnt yes. as opposed to like just nicely right. roasted. Got so, it. Okay. So we're gonna roast these, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna we're gonna the continue. Rest of the soup. That's yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my gosh, it, it smells, smells so good. It smells so like good. It smells like fall. It does, it does, it does, it does. Okay, so just a quick recap. You know, we put the, the roasted, or the, yeah, the butternut squash and the onion in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit. We let that roast for about 20 minutes, and then I got out my trusty wooden spoon and kind of <laughs> tossed things around just because you don't want them to burn. You want them to get nice and roasted. Yes. And then they go for another 20 minutes. Okay, then I took them out. And then what I did is I got a nice large skillet over here, and before I added the uh, squash and the onion to that, what I did was I got a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and I heated that up over medium heat and then I added a tablespoon of ginger root that was minced mm. and then I got like two or three cloves of garlic um, it's about probably a tablespoon of garlic and uh, put that in there and just let that get nice and sauteed only about a couple minutes mm. and then I got my baking sheet with my um, roasted vegetables and I just scooted those on in there yes. with the party so now what we are going it. to do we're just building this flavor yes so, Let's now we're going to add this stuff. This is called liquid gold <laughs> or roasted chicken stock. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Now you can go, uh, I think you'll have a link for this. Yes. Uh, we've got a video for it too. That's really You've cool. probably already seen it, yes. right? Because you see everything we do. But, but now anyway, we're going to add that to the party. If you can um, make your own stock, this is great. Um, the, if not, you can get it's good store. Amazing. But they really, it, it talks about. It just oomphs up the it flavor. It oomphs it up. So again, this is four <laughs> cups of uh, chicken stock. Now, now if people wanted to use vegetable stock, absolutely. Could, it be, could this actually be a vegan, uh, a vegan recipe from Chris and Leslie? Every time I say something, <laughs> if you do this, that it's vegan, then I get yelled at for like, you can't no, be vegan. stop it. Well, it's very important, though. It's very people believe in. 
you know, that's their that's their way of life. Yeah, no, vegan. I agree. I agree. And when, screw and, with that. Well, right. So don't take my word for it. <laughs> I can tell you that right now that this is definitely, if you use vegetable stock, is vegetarian. There's oh. no dairy. There's there's no meat. proteins. It's delicious. Yeah. And so this is going to simmer now. I'm going to bring this to a simmer over medium heat uh, for about 20 minutes. And it's just going to continue to soften those vegetables. Yeah. And, uh, and then we're going to go from there, you guys. Yeah. OK, right. folks. So I am so excited. We are so close to roasted, yes. roasted butternut squash soup. Yes. So uh, we let it simmer for, like we said, like 20 minutes. Just stir it every you know, couple minutes with um, a wooden spoon. And then now you can do this. You need to puree it. So you can either do that in a nice blender that we've got here filled to the brim, to the which brim. is okay. Just we'll show you, you know, careful with that. Yes, I will with the power tool. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. As I say, careful. Fine. Or you can use like a large um, food processor to do it, but a blender works really well. Okay, yes. so now we're going to puree this. So, you know, make sure you've got it locked in place. You it's turn locked the power in place. On. Turn I started kind of slow, like chop, and then, and then it just now get it up to puree. Mix. Okay. Let's go to puree, people. Okay, we're, we're gonna puree go. and off, off. Okay, off, off. Okay. Yes. Make right. sure your blender is turned off. Like I said, we've had plenty of stains on the ceiling because <laughs> the loon forgets. No, it. <laughs> not always my fault. No, it's true. Sometimes the dog. <laughs> um, oh wow, that isn't is that beautiful. That is. Let me see if people can see it. I just want to. Now make sure this is off. Okay. Yeah. That is now be you careful. That, Obviously, it's hot and mm. steamy, but that I'll is see it over there when you it's pour it gorgeous, that. gorgeous, gorgeous. That now, looks great. Now, I've got this bat. This yeah, I clean this uh, out just because. Oh, I got that on medium heat. That's okay, no problem. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> ah, ah. so okay, let me turn that down just a little that. bit. Okay, so that's beautiful. So now, um, you can see that this is really, really thick and delicious oh, and creamy. Wow. We need to thin it just a little bit. Just so a tad. Just we're going to take two more cups of that stock that we talked about, whether it's your um, roasted chicken stock or, or your, your homemade your vegetable, vegetable stock. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't recommend seafood stock stock in this. It <laughs> it just really changes the taste. I don't know. It's okay. Thank okay. You. So just to you know, you might want to take a note of that. Okay. So now all we oh, have wow. to really do look. Amazing. It's just luxurious. It's so incredible. It it and feels no, like no heavy cream. cream. I, I just love it. I love I it. Love it. Love it. But we're not done. Okay. We need to we need to add a little more salt. We got to season this baby. Okay. I'm gonna do about a, se a teaspoon and a half. We can take a fair amount of salt because we've got a healthy amount here and then I got some freshly ground pepper. Now this, this is one of those soups that is just so heartwarming. You've roasted the vegetables, everything about it just is warm. Yes. We're going to need to go even a step further and we're going to add some uh, curry powder. Now I like, some yes. people don't like curry powder or they think they don't like curry powder, yes. but um, in used in the right way, in the right yes. dishes, in, it's in just the right phenomenal. amount. It yeah. is amazing. Yeah. I've served this to peeps, friends, family that, um, you know, just say they hate a curry powder yeah. and um, little do they know there's a little curry i mean there. you'll if you you know if you know the taste of curry you may you may notice it but you're going to notice a little bit just because it gives that warm oh, delicious feel. It's, right it's just so it's it's the holidays <laughs> it's the fall weather it's wonderful okay so we're gonna just let, let the, i mean it's it's pretty much heated but yeah. we're gonna let that simmer for just a couple minutes and then it's time to plate yeah i'm gonna eat it and the loon gets to eat <laughs> Oh, <laughs> look I mean, at that beautiful, it is beautiful so soup. So glorious. Oh, I just, yes. I just, I love that. There's something really special I about love this. it. You know what? The, remember, Wesley, when we oh, used to go, there was a restaurant when we lived in the West Village of New York City <gasps> back in the yes late 80s into the 90s yes. and it was a small it was called the pop belly stove the cafe pop belly stove cafe and i think it was our we it were the new, first time new to new york and our culinary extra you know we were getting more adventure yes. uh, adventures but learn you know and this <laughs> cafe made this incredible cream of uh, butternut squash and it's one of those influences it was like not cream rice right? buttermilk squash, squash soup, soup. And, and it was one of those experiences that was just, it would be snowing outside we would order this in the west village in new york city just we had no money and we were just could not be happier and this would be served us and we would just <coughs> spend the whole day basically there yeah i know, <laughs> I, I know. oh lord all right so now the piece de resistance are these amazing homemade croutons. We like to throw them on top 
And what, Chris? What? I, well, I, I didn't know what you were going to say. So you can make homemade croutons so easily. I've got a link in the blog post. There's, it's super easy. It's another one of those things like, I can make croutons. You can. And it, it's just, I mean, if you're going to make a soup like this, yes. well, make some you croutons. should definitely make Look some croutons. Look at how cute that is. That's beautiful. Actually, and I just... I just love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Mm, 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 mm. All right, I'm going to eat. All right, That's I'm going to eat. After I have my little crouton. Yes, yes, mm. yes. You cheated. Look at that. that. That is glorious. Yeah, and you want to have a big bowl of those croutons on oh, the table. Look at how silky. Oh. I know. <laughs> mm. I know. I know. This is... This is like about the best, right? It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I am in the village at the Pop Belly Stove Cafe and I'm 30 pounds lighter. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to happen. This is amazing. This is uh, figure friendly mm. and it's so rich in flavor. This is mm. also, you know. And that touch of curry is perfect. It's perfect. It's, it just perfect. adds to the warmth. This is really mm. a wonderful. A pre-Thanksgiving mm. uh, meal soup to serve. Oh, it's I mean, perfect. Yeah, I mean, talk about appetizer. setting the yep. stage for a perfect meal. Oh, you guys. Oh, mm. is mm. it everything you've ever believed it should be and more? Um, this is actually a million percent Luna proof. Oh <laughs> Yay! No, it's that good, folks. It's amazing. Here, Chris, take Thank that you. on over there. Okay, you. thanks. <laughs> It's so, it's so heartwarming, and I'm telling you, that little hint of curry just makes it even feel a lot more homier. It's so delicious. It's so oh, much homier. and the homier. Homier. <laughs> it's so good. That is really good. And I just, I I'm still can't believe that there's no heavy cream in this. <laughs> it's just so good. It's the roasting that, that mm. brings out that, just that flavor. Totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And the... Mm. Homemade chicken stock helps too, mm -hmm. but you can believe me, you're still going to get superior, superior oh. taste with just regular old stock. Wow. Now you can get this recipe and many more soup recipes on howtofeedaloon.com. And if you guys want to come over and share us, come eat on. this, and make it, and we'll come to you. Oh, please make this soup. And on your way, you know, get out your phone and, and share and like and tell everyone about how to feed a loon <laughs> and um, how much you love it and how much we love you. And, and, and try these croutons too, because they're amazing. Mm. I know. Mm. We need to get a group on for croutons. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>